Hi students, coming to the next topic in the subject computer network is OSI reference model. OSI means Open System Interconnection. The abbreviation of OSI is Open System Interconnection. Actually, why we are referencing this OSI reference model? Suppose let us take there are n number of users n number of users so we are the users so there are n number of users who uses computer network who uses computer network and are located over the world in complete world uh, there are different n number of users who are using the computer network so to ensure national and worldwide data communication system uh, communication the system must be developed which are compatible to communicate with each other to make the system compatible to make the system that is a uh, computer network whatever we are using to make the system compatible to communicate each other means these n number of users has to communicate with each other with each other ISO standard ISO ISO has developed a standard has developed a standard so that standard we call it as OSI reference model so to make the system compatible to communicate with each other, the number of users has to com communicate with each other. The ISO, ISO is nothing but the international, international organization of standard, organization of standard. So this is one of the international standard. This standard has developed OSI reference model. So this is we call this is a model for open system interconnection. Actually, this ISO OSI model is a seven layer architecture. OSI, the open system interconnection, is a seven layer architecture. So this is the introduction part of just OSI. What is that OSI? Open system interconnection. Why they uh, uh, introduce, uh, develop the open system interconnection? So to make the system compatible to communicate with uh, all the number of n number of users. So the ISO, the International Organization of Standard, has developed one particular reference model that is a open system interconnection. So this open system interconnection is a seven layer architecture. Now let us see. What are the design, how we are going to design uh, this OSI reference models? These seven layers, they, they are going to be designed. How they design the seven layers? Now let us see. The design principle of OSI reference model. Now let us see what are the design principles of OSI reference model the first one a layer should be created where a different abstractions is needed so where a different abstractions are needed different abstractions are needed a la there a layer has to be created a layer has to be created so that is the first criteria to create a layer uh, where, wherever there is a different abstraction so in that cases we can go uh, we have to create a layers so here each layer should perform a well-defined function okay so whatever the layers how many uh, the layers we are creating so each layer should perform a well-defined function 
So I said this OSA reference model is a seven layer architecture. There are seven layers will be there. So he like this, this up to seven layers are there. So each layer it should perform some well defined function. This is having some function and this is operated. These are having some functions. So like that each layer is having some well defined function. Next, the function whatever the each layer is holding, the function of each layer can be chosen as an international standard function of layer should be should be follow the international standard next the layer boundary should be chosen to minimize the information flow across the interface so whatever this is the interface interface is a connection between the two layers so interface we call it as a connection between two layers so these layer boundaries whatever this la each layer is having some boundaries it should be chosen to minimize to minimize the information flow across the interface next the number of layers should be not too large and not too small so whatever the layers we are creating so here osa is creating seven layers so these seven layers the number of layers so these seven layers should be not too large or not too small so it should be in mediate so these are the design principles of osa reference model now let let me explain the features of OSA reference model. After that, we will discuss about the those seven layers. So, let me explain the features of features of OSA reference model. First feature. So, the big pictures. So, whatever the big pictures the users are creating, the big pictures of communication. over network is understandable through this OSI model through this OSI model the big pictures of communication over network is understandable through this OSI model so this is the first feature and next we see how hardware and software work together how hardware and software or work together in this OSA reference model so without hardware and without software so the both has to be there in OSA reference model and we can understand new technologies uh, as they are developed so introducing and understanding the new technologies next troubleshooting is easier by sub separate networks so here we are having uh, each layer for each layer the troubleshooting will be easier troubleshooting is easier next uh, it can be used to compare basic functional relationships on different networks so can be used to compare basic functional relationships on different networks so these are the different features that osa reference model is having so in the next video i will explain the the architecture of this osa reference uh, model thank you